What did mm -hmm. you learn about the first experience against the Illini that you're taking into this match? Well, one, they're a very well coached uh, young team, uh, but they've had a lot of players who are involved in a national championship run last year. So I think they're they're a good, solid volleyball team with good setting, pretty good passing, bunch of kids who can take a big swing at the ball, and they're obviously a, a very good Big Ten team. When you're seeing teams for the second time, like Illinois tomorrow night, how much different is the scout, if at all, or does it just come down to execution? Well, they've changed uh, their lineup a little bit, so we're, we're uh, having to deal with a little bit of a different challenge than we did the first time. I thought we played well at their place for a couple games, and then it got away from us, and we were really fortunate to win the match. Um, I think for our team, there was a lot of things we didn't do well execution-wise that we're going to be better at, hopefully, in this match. Uh, and for them, I would expect them to compete. I mean, uh, their coaching staff is really, really great, and they'll have their kids ready to play. You talk a lot about passing. Where's the team at right now in terms of where you want it to be versus where it is? You no, know, I think passing is a confident. You have to be confident to pass well. I think being at home helps. I think getting late in the season, they know that every win is really, really important. Um, it's just a mental skill, and being at home in your home crowd uh, gives you an opportunity to, to probably just relax a little bit and let your training take care of the ball. Uh, if we pass the ball well, we're awfully good. What's Katie Slay doing well for you up front? I think she's, you know, she's in a good position with the block. I think she's uh, offensively made some great strides this year, and I think teams have to really respect the fact that she can put up big numbers in the front court. You know, if she competes hard and really uh, works really hard, I think she's a fantastic player and does a great job at this level. How's Megan Courtney doing at this point of her freshman year? Getting towards the end of the year, played a lot of matches, how's she doing? I think it's tough for any freshman at this time in the year. You know, their high school stuff, uh, their state tournaments and stuff are winding down, and we have another full month to play. But she's an incredibly bright kid. She's a very hard worker. She's prepared. She spends a lot of time on film. And uh, physically, she seems to be holding up. So if she continues to play at a high level, it's great to have two left sides that you think can carry the load. Keys to the match against Illinois. Have to take care of the ball. They're going to set the left side a lot. I'm going to set the four ball a ton because they've made an adjustment with one of their players. Uh, they've got uh, two middles who can score, so you have to respect them. Then we've got to serve the ball tough and keep them out of system, uh, manage our ball and serve receive, and make sure we do what we do on our side of the net, and then compete like crazy. I mean, they're not going to roll over. They're playing for their lives in the NCAA tournament right now. And as I said, they're really prepared. It's a great coaching staff, and uh, they'll be ready to go. Best of luck. Thank you very much.